with a bum ankle, but Coach Pinkle's been dealing with injuries for the past few weeks. Brock Osweiler, pressure off the edge, and he's able to get it complete to Jamal Miles, who caught the touchdown pass not long ago. The linebackers finally get a chance to get to these guys. Fast pace here. Xavier Gooden, really, really athletic. A really good player outside there. They'll try and keep an eye on him. Luke Lambert on the other side. Nice, solid job there. Missing one, but these guys will have to hold down the fort. A lot of injuries for Missouri. Second and one is Cameron Marshall is in the backfield with a six foot eight Brock Osweiler. Marshall looking for that first down line. He's going to be close to it. Xavier Gooden, who you were just talking about, came up and made the tackle along with Matt White, the free safety. Tackle by Xavier Gooden. And he is just short. So it'll be a third and inches here, Rod. Yeah, as we take a quick look at the secondary, Edwards. Guy's been banged up on the other side. EJ Gaines, a sophomore, only his second start. These guys are going to be matched up with some pretty tall receivers. Marshall's going to try it again, and this time he has it with ease. So Cameron Marshall, who they expect to have a very big year, catches it well out of the backfield. We saw that a week ago. Really strong guy. His dad's a personal trainer, so he grew up around strength training. He was 5'11", 223. He's a ball of a muscle. Yeah, he might have been the number one pupil. Big, strong back out of Valley Christian High School in San Jose. Been lifting weights for quite a while. Oh, and by the way, you're going to hear plenty about his brother Byron, one of the top recruits in the country. Osweiler showing you some of that mobility for a 6'8 quarterback. Pressure that time came from Dominique Hamilton. Well, Cameron Marshall has become the workhorse of this offense. You know, they like to spread it out and throw it around, but he's the guy that can pound inside, and he's got really good hands. He catches the ball out of the backfield. They like to use him an awful lot. You see that 86 yards receiving last week. Those two touchdowns came on only seven carries. Second and six. Osweiler, big arm to the out and complete <laughs> to Aaron Flugrad. <laughs> Did you like that? <laughs> oh, boy. And the crowd responded to it. This is part of the deal. They've seen this out of this guy. Hey, he's 6'8", and he's got all the arm you need. And you just don't get used to that compact throw by a guy that's that big. Not a lot of wasted motion. Not a lot of time. He releases that thing quickly. And boy, was that a dart. So a first down at the 36. Steps up, he's going to run it now, and he goes and bursts ahead for a pickup of eight. Yeah, you know, he's athletic enough, and he is. a lot of people forget. I mean, he was a great basketball player. Played basketball his entire life, was yeah. one of those AAU players, wanted to play college basketball. Well, had an offer from Gonzaga, he committed to go play basketball there, then changed his mind, focused on football. You know, I looked at the basketball roster here, there are only two guys taller than him on the Arizona <laughs> State basketball team. Yeah, he thought about playing, but then realized that he might have a big future in football. Second and two. There's Marshall again, and he spins ahead for a first down for the Sun Devils. Kenja Jackson, a strong safety, a team captain, making the tackle against Marshall, but another first down for Arizona State. Tess, if you're Missouri, you have to find a way to knock Os Osweiler around a bit. They've not touched him. He's been clean, clean and comfortable in the pocket. They haven't been close to getting to him. You might have to dial it up, but right now, they've been bringing four, and he's had plenty of time. Marshall and Middlebrooks now in the backfield, along with Trevor Cole, as they give a full backfield look for a moment. Marshall makes one initial move at the line of scrimmage before he's taken down at the 22. So one quarter in the books between Arizona State and number 21, Missouri. Osweiler looks good early. Had a touchdown pass. 7-3, Sun Devils on top. Would you like to go? I want to test you there today's occasion. We welcome you back to ESPN's College Football Primetime, presented by Russell Athletic. Joe Tessitore alongside Rod Gilmore and Eamon McEnany. 
Arizona State up seven to three against Mizzou. The blackout here at Sun Devil Stadium. New logo, new helmets, jersey pants. They're very excited to show this off. Second and eight now. Cameron Marshall is getting a lot of work tonight, and he's going to be just short of that first down line. So we'll set up a third and short. You know, when you get down here, you want touchdowns. You don't want to settle for field goals. And this is another big third down here, short yardage. They don't go empty, but here's their diamond formation. They go with four in the backfield, including the quarterback. Seeing a lot of this. Dana Holgerson uh, really got it going. Oh, and he has met right away. Heck of a play by Andrew Wilson. Starting middle linebacker Will Ebner is out with a high ankle sprain, but Wilson filling in nicely. Oh, he came through untouched. Middle of your screen. Watch him right into the hole. And we got a fourth down. Looks like they're going to go for it here. So Osweiler staying on the field here for fourth and inches. I like the points instead. And with that six foot eight frame, he just leans forward. A late flag comes in from that back judge. It's going to be on uh, Arizona State. I think there was something going on out, outside with um, one of the receivers. Foul, unnecessary roughness. It's not a 15 yard penalty enforced from the previous spot. Yeah, that was Mike Willie. It was far away from the ball. Mike Willie was engaged with the corner over there, Kip Edwards. Now, and, plays and over. And he it serves up. absolutely yep. no purpose. Yeah, he Completely right unrelated to nope. the play that was called and what was necessary for Arizona State. See, this is the kind of thing that hurt Arizona State last season. You know, they would make stupid mistakes in games. It cost them against Stanford. It cost them against USC. Personal fouls, late hits, things like that cost them a lot of those games last season. And that's the same thing we see tonight that Erickson had hoped they were done with. So back comes Alex Garou, who missed his first attempt. Lifted his head a bit on that last attempt. This from 47. Made from 49 last week. Oh, and that is perfect. So they could have had a first down in the red zone. Instead, they settle for three. Touchdown lead for the Sun Devils. Erickson's fired up. 